I spoke with Greece's top diplomat in the United States, Ambassador Christos Ponogopoulos. I asked him if Greece can keep up with its payment schedule, considering that's already tapping its reserves. As of yesterday, there was a meeting of the Eurogroup, who you might be aware, and they came up with a pretty uh, positive uh, declaration about Greece that progress has been made. Of course, you are, when you have negotiations, you might need some more time to complete, but there's a positive spirit on both sides that we can complete the agreement. Since uh, and when we're going to complete the agreement, things are going to be more normal. Are there specific economic reforms that um, European neighbors want Greece to implement? Absolutely. We are, first of all, for these reforms. First of all, the taxation system, which is infamous all over the world, that uh, the Greeks, they do not, and in the past, they didn't pay their taxes, according to the Constitution. This new government, the previous one, made an effort, but this one is more determined to, uh, uh, I mean, to realize a rational system of taxation. And believe me, if they make everyone pay according to his, her uh, capacity, uh, the crisis would be uh, history. Ambassador, what is the worst case scenario, or have we already reached that point? When we are in a fight, we don't think about the worst case scenario. We are determined to find a solution. As a matter of fact, if you take a strategic view, you see that it's a win-win situation to come to an agreement. The lenders, what do they want? They want their money back. If we fail, that's a hy hypothetical question, I mean, right now, they lose their money, no? So they have every vested interest to help us get out of this crisis. And of course, we don't like our country to go down the drain. We'd like to come back to normalcy, and that's why we are negotiating with them. I believe it's a matter of uh, weeks. I don't like to put a timetable into this because there are negotiations underway right now, but uh, pretty soon we're going to have a positive outcome. And you believe the current government has a clear strategy on how to deal with this crisis? I believe that we have a strategy, what we want to do, but in negotiation, you know, you uh, give this, you take another thing. That's what the negotiation is all about. There's been a lot of talk and speculation what would happen if Greece left the Eurozone. Is that even a possibility, sir? We don't have this scenario in mind. And actually, if you take the uh, public statements of all European uh, officials, not only European, but all the institutions, including the IMF, the, um, the possibility of Greece leaving Euro uh, is not a scenario, a plausible scenario. By the way, uh, uh, there's no institutional way for a member of the Eurozone to get out of this. But uh, uh, apart from that, the consequences would be detrimental, not only for Greece, who's going to pay, I mean, a, a huge uh, uh, price for this, but for the Eurozone, not only that, and this is the American factor, our American friends understand very well that Greece might be a small, relatively country, but because of our participation in the Eurozone, the impact is going to be uh, horrible for the global economy. We're talking about the globalized economy. So what happens to Europe? Small player probably, but through our participation in the Euro Eurozone, the impact is going to be detrimental for the so far quite anemic uh, global growth. Ambassador, talk to us a little bit about the impact um, this has had on ordinary Greeks. The numbers, the statistics are staggering. So many people are out of jobs. Um, are you optimistic the situation will change in 2016? And do you blame much of the problems we've seen on the austerity measures? Uh, it's not the time for the uh, blame game right now. Obviously, the, the recipe that was suggested by our uh, uh, partners and lenders was not the right one. And this is quite evident. After five years of unbelievably in a peacetime austerity, uh, we are back to square one, unfortunately. Uh, so we have to try something else. I'm very optimistic, like the government is, and uh, like our European uh, um, partners, and our American partners also, and they're supporting us every single moment in this negotiation. But uh, I, I believe if we allow some more time, uh, we're going to have concrete uh, results. Uh, the most ugly phase, the unemployment. You can't imagine how you feel like if you see young, talented people, they uh, hold degrees from the best universities uh, all over the world, uh, being unable to find something uh, to work. This, I mean, 
a terrible uh, smash of the uh, dreams the young generation is, uh, uh, has the right to do. And we are determined to change this.